If you don't have a marketing system to generate 10 to 20 clients a month for your course or your coaching program, you're probably making some of the mistakes that this guy's making. We call him Danny the Dabbler, and we'll talk about his mistakes in just a moment. We've also got Pretty Rich Richard over here, who's making $30,000 a month with a very simple marketing plan. So let's talk to them. Danny, let's start with you. So you're selling uh, an online coaching program, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And how are you currently attempting to land clients and promote yourself online? I, I've, got, I've got a few things that I'm working on. I've got this thing called a VSL funnel that looks like it's got some real good promise. Uh, I've got some lead magnets to build my list. Uh, I've been dabbling with the virtual event model recently and I'm about to launch a challenge funnel. And are any of these getting any results? Um, not yet, but I'm feeling hopeful. Okay, and what about traffic? Uh, so I've got a few things I'm doing for traffic. I I'm posting regularly to my Instagram account. I upload a new video to my YouTube channel every single day. I'm posting valuable content in a bunch of Facebook groups and I'm pretty sure someone's gonna become a client soon. And, uh, and I also do a weekly live uh, Facebook show. Okay, and so the Facebook Lives, are they getting any traction? No. Okay, all right, well, thank you. Uh, pretty Rich Richard, let's come to you. Same question to you as well. Oh, firstly, that sounds so stupid. That must take you hours every day to produce all that content. Uh, excuse me, I got 54 <laughs> followers on Instagram in the last month, so it is working very well. Okay, cool, cool story, man. Uh, so, John, yeah, I, I used to do all of that stuff uh, until I found a better way. So talk us through the uh, the marketing strategy that you use then, Rich. So, well, the first thing I learned from you was to keep things simple. So I have just one sales funnel that provides value and connects with my dream audience and gives them a chance to become a client. And then I utilize that paid ad strategy that you taught me to fill my funnel from day one with the most targeted potential dream clients for my offer. And so uh, how much time in the day does that take to, to manage? Uh, it takes about 30 to 60 minutes a day. Okay, so that, uh, what do you do with the rest of your day then? I actually do the stuff that I enjoy doing. You know, I get to work with my clients, make sure they're succeeding, and then just hang out and spend time with my family. That's so cool, man. So here's the deal. You can continue to dabble like Danny here, building endless sales funnels, posting on social media, and staying stuck, or you can be like Richard, and you can start Actually, uh, John, do you mind if I finish off the call to action? I think I know it really well now. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, great. So guys, check this out. Click the link somewhere on or around this video, and you can register for a free training where John's gonna teach you how to get 10 to 15 high ticket clients for your courses or coaching programs every single month using a simple but powerful funnel strategy combined with targeted paid ads. How was that? Pretty perfect, actually. So, so guys, can I can I get a link to that training as well? Please? You, Danny, of all people need this training. So yes, click the link, check out the training, and I'll see you there. All right? Yeah, cool. All right, all right sweet. Hey, why does it seem so hard to sell your own service? Well, it's an interesting question that we're gonna explore in this video. Now, the reason that it's difficult to sell a service is because unlike a product, like an iPhone, for example, or a Mac, or whatever physical item, a service is invisible. You cannot see it, you can't touch it, you can't see it. Whereas a product you can try before you buy, you can use it, experience it, Alchemical Training for Mental Transmutations Introduction The Human Mind The human mind, a marvel of nature, has captivated thinkers, scientists, and philosophers for centuries. It is this intricate nexus of thoughts, emotions, and memories that defines who we are, how we perceive the world, and how we react to it. Yet, while we often think we are at the mercy of our thoughts and feelings, Ancient teachings have illuminated the possibility of harnessing and transforming the very fabric.